Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of building every single FNAF game into Minecraft. Now this is not a build, but rather a showcase of my entire Five Nights at Freddy's 1 map. And just to make you aware, the map is currently available for download, and the link for the map will be in the description. It is only for Java Edition at the moment, but later on it will be available for Bedrock 2. Now before you go clicking on the link, I recommend that you stick around for a bit so you know more about the map and don't get confused when you first load in. Obviously, the map consists of the whole FNAF 1 location, with every single room from the entrance, the dining hall, the show stage, Pirate Cove and a small prize counter, the backstage, another backstage, the bathrooms, the kitchen, a small loading dock, the hall closet, a manager's office, both the west and east hallway, and of course, the main office itself. Now this map was a single person project which started about two months ago, and I just finished it last month. This map also has every function that you would think is in the original game. These functions are a functional power system, so when it is night, all the power to the building will go out, and when it is day, it will come back on. Number two is functional doors and cameras, so for example, here, if I walk up to the button in the office, I press it, I will get every single camera in the entire game that I am able to use. I am able to go to the show stage and see the animatronics, I can go to the dining hall, I can go to the backstage. And all credit for helping me make the camera systems functional goes to Kappa TEXE. And also for the functional doors, if an animatronic is trying to get into your office, you are able to go ahead and simply press the top button on the side of the door, press it, and it will automatically close the door, preventing an animatronic from getting to your office. Same thing, you can do it with Foxy. And also, of course, the lights are completely functional, as you can see right here. Number three is going to be the working nights. There is a complete time cycle, so every night you are able to do a night. And the map is completely explorable, and when I say this, you are able to explore everything, from the whole gas station, the cafe, except for these two buildings right here. These are unexplorable, but everything else around this entire map, you are able to do whatever you want. Oh, and of course, there is a motel. So when you first make your way to the pizzeria, you will come across this small entrance area, which does not have a lot of stuff in it, except I have now decided to use custom player heads. And if you haven't noticed already, I have also used more map art, which I did originally use in my Mega Pizza Plex. I have now decided to use that here too. When you make your way over to here, you come across the whole entire dining hall, with of course the show stage, which has Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, which you will find once you download the map. And of course, the cameras with also custom player heads, facing in the exa exact directions they should be. When you make your way back to here into the another version of a backstage, you come across this control area. You have control over the dining room lights, the stage lights, and the showtime music. Dining room lights, as you have guessed, will completely turn off all of the lights. And also the show stage lights, if you press it, it will just turn those off as well. And I recommend if you want to have a show, you have the show stage lights on, so you're able to see the animatronics clearly. And then you can go ahead and press Showtime Music, which I'm not going to press. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and do that if you do if you go if you do go ahead and download it. So show stage lights off, or no, show, show stage lights on and dining room lights on for now. And when you make your way over to here, we will come across a small backstage area with the endoskeleton and all, obviously, all of the animatronic heads that you can find for repair. When you make your way over to here, we come across Foxy's Pirate Cove, and to the left of Pirate Cove, we have a little prize counter area with all of the animatronics as plushies, which you can go ahead and buy, not literally. And before we go ahead and go down to the office, we'll go ahead and go to the kitchen, which, since we don't see in the actual game, it's not very, not very big, it's more small, doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. And to the left of it, we have a small loading dock area. Not a whole lot in here, except some just shelving and some boxes, but here you're able to load stuff onto a truck right outside. And if we go ahead and make our way back into here, there is a door that is right here, but this just leads right out of the outside, so nothing much going on there. And our, uh, to the bathrooms, same thing, it's the exact same thing on both sides. We have just a couple stalls and some sinks. Same thing on this side, it's, it is just a couple stalls and some sinks. And then this door right here, you'll find this out when you eventually download the map, because... I mean, it, you've, you've probably already guessed what's behind there, but y you'll see. Now to the office, if we go ahead and go down the east hallway, we will come across the office, which has everything in it. Obviously the functional doors, you press the top button, the door will close. Same thing on this side, the door will close, and you're able to open them back up again, just like that. 
the lights are on the the lights are at the bottom button. You press it, it will turn on for te te turn on temporarily. Same thing on this side, turns on, turns off. And of course, the buttons which I've already showed, you get the cameras. You're able to go to every single camera everywhere. You go to the bathrooms, which sometimes that may happen if you end up going to somewhere it, you may fall out. Just go ahead and do it again, and you'll be right back. Kitchen, same exact thing, and the east hall corner. You're able to go everywhere, and then back to the office. Just press the button again and all of the cams will be gone to the left of the office we have the manager's office which there's it's the same thing there's not a whole lot in here just a couple cameras a fan not a whole lot of decorations but it's there and of course we have the small hall closet right here now that we have explored all of the pizzeria we'll go ahead and go outside of the pizzeria and explore more of the locations on the outside now if we go ahead and make our way to the next building, which is the gas station, it is also the biggest building besides the motel that is over there. So when you first make your way to the gas station, you of course will come across a couple of cars and a couple of gas pumps. And if we make our way into the gas station, we will come across an assortment of different custom player heads used as food. And you can find a lot more of them over here, which there's a ton of them, which makes it feel like an actual gas station. Here we have some of the drinks behind some of the fridges, which you normally find at the back of a gas station. Over here, we have a little coffee section with some coffee that you can buy and a little food court here which normally is not in a lot of gas stations but i have decided to go ahead and add one along with a little kitchen here in the back now if we make our way over to here we have our checkout counter right here with some newspapers right to the left and right here we have both the mail and the female bathroom with another little coffee section here and of course i not i could not forget to add the slushy machines with cherry and blue raspberry flavors almost every single gas station that i have been to has slushy machines so i have of course gone ahead and added one anyway now let's go ahead and make our way across the gas station to the cafe now the cafe has got to be my second favorite location besides the main pizzeria itself mostly because of all the detail that is in here for a location that is very small i really do like how this place actually turned out of course you have all the main seating here along with some of the booths that you can find here you have a ordering or the main ordering counter with a very very small kitchen in the very back and right over to the left we have just a singular restroom here nothing much going on here it's just a normal restroom i know this is one of the smallest locations out of the whole entire map but yet it is still one of my favorite or and yes it is one of my favorites and just like i've mentioned before these buildings are completely unexplorable you cannot go inside them same with these tunnels they lead to absolutely no that nowhere they are just here just for decoration so now let's go ahead and finish this episode by going ahead and showing off the whole entire motel of course, the motel is a place where you are able to come back after work and rest up in one of your rooms. And for example, if I walk into here, the lights are also completely functional in the in living room and- Oh. Um... I, uh, I'm sorry, I'll just go ahead and leave. Anyway, so as I was saying, if we go ahead and just make our way over to, let's say, room 3. We come in here, it is definitely a little bit tight, but all the rooms are basically the exact same. You have a little bit of a coffee maker, a little coffee maker here. You have a double bed, and you have a TV right here. And this is not a clock, this is actually um, a coat hanger, one of those small wardrobes that you would normally find in a motel or hotel. And here is the actual bathroom. As you can see, a little toilet, a bathtub with a bar of soap sitting on this little shelf, and the sink with a mirror. And the buttons will turn off and on the lights. The same goes with the bathroom and standalone by itself in the main living room. They are completely different so you can have the bathroom light turned on while the living lights turned off or have that turned on while the bathroom lights are turned off. And they are they work in every single motel room. Now rooms one two three and four are the exact same like this they are a little bit cramped and of course i don't think you guys saw you have a little you have a little convenience count or sorry um the main entrance area where you would go ahead and find a room that is open and get your key to your room not a lot going on here you just have a couple chairs and a coffee machine with the front desk now if we go ahead and make our way over to let's say room four five six and so on the rooms are a little bit different as you can see they are definitely wider they have a double coat hanger and there is no tv now there is actually a small desk with a little bit of a with a little laptop 
and the double beds just push a little further back. Bathrooms are a little bit, a little bit, a little bit different. They are just a little bit widened, and the sinks are definitely different. The same, of course, with the functional lights. And from so on, from room four down, they are the exact same, and there's no differences. And that, I think, concludes our entire showcase of my entire Five Nights at Freddy's 1 map. And that is basically everything there is here. Of course, you have two more tunnels that don't really lead to anything, and this completely empty building. If you're wondering what is on the inside, there's, like I've said, there's nothing. It's just completely empty. All of the explorable locations, such as the pizzeria, uh, cafe, gas station, and the motel, are completely explorable, and you are able to do whatever you want in this map. It is all up to you. Well, that about sums it up for this showcase of my Five Nights at Freddy's 1 map. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I really did enjoy making this video along with the entire map by itself. Once again, the link for the download for this map is in the description. Once again, it is also only available for Java and not for Bedrock at the moment, but eventually, it will be available for Bedrock at some point. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more types of these videos. And of course, I would like you guys to join. It is, of course, up to you. You are always able to join the United Butters Discord server. We desperately need more people because it is very dry right now. That's mostly why no one's in there, but it, of course, it is always up to you. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, and of course, I will see you all in my next video. See ya.